Okay, so I am just so upset right now. Most of you guys have probably seen my face before. Um, you know, as the one who used to talk about the strip clubs. Anyway, I've been very low key lately because, you know, I've just been low key, just living my life, doing my thing. Anyway, um, so I've been working at Rhino. I've been hired at Rhino since 2018. Never had any issues, never had no problems, nothing. I've always worked nights there. Recently, I decided that I wanted to try the day shift because it was recommended by someone um, to try the day shift. So I started working day shift. I think I've worked like seven days total for day shift. I was doing very well during day shift to the point where I stopped working nights. I was doing so well, um, I was bringing in a couple, a couple grand within like two hours and i liked it a lot because i didn't have to go through all those girls i didn't have to you know i just didn't like being around so many people um and i could leave like um you know before six hours working the day shift so anyway um my first night or excuse me my first day it was on a monday i made like 1700 dollars. okay there was one girl who was a part of my vip with this one guy he decided he wanted to take me to do an hour and he paid me on zelle half of the money he paid me on Zelle. So this girl gets mad and feels some type of way. So she goes and tells a manager, the day shift manager. And he comes up to me and he's like, basically like, oh, you know, you need to give him that money back. Like, you know, it's not worth your job. Like, you know, you make good money. Like you should just give it back to him. Mind you, the customer wasn't even complaining. You know, the customer didn't say anything, but I gave the money back because I'm like, it's not, my job is not worth $400. Like it's, it's, <laughs> and plus I have the other hat that he gave me. It's not, it's not worth it. So I give him the money back. That was my first day working day shift. Let it go. Didn't think about it. Now I have not been to work in two weeks. The last time I was at work, I had a really good day shift. In total, I made like $7,000 in two hours. Customer, he was a disabled veteran kept telling me I'm not broke honey I'll give you whatever you want I'm not broke I'm not poor he gave me like whatever half of seven grand is so basically he gave me thirty six hundred dollars cash and he paid the rest on his card through the club so he kept telling them that he wanted to do up front two hours um at the club on the card and the club kept saying like oh we can only charge you for one hour at a time so he's like okay i want two but fine you know we'll do one hour at a time now rhino has very low prices an hour six hundred dollars okay so on the the card i end up getting fourteen hundred dollars so during our vip session he was telling me he's like mind you this man was not drunk okay he was not drunk he was drinking beer he was not drunk anyway so he told me during the the vip take me to the atm i want to pull some money out i'm like okay so i i took him to the atm and he does a cash advance for two thousand dollars so i take him to go cash out the two thousand dollars they're like oh kimmy you have to wait until you know you guys are done with your hour vip i'm like okay no no biggie you know so we go and we finish you know whatever was left like half an hour we finish that customer he's he's happy he's jolly you know he's he's in a really good mood and we go back to the cashier and we're trying to cash you know the, the cash advance for the two grand he is and you know the lady who's handling the money in the back she's taking long you know she and i know she was doing it on purpose she's taking much longer you know you know she's just taking extremely long for no reason and then she's like oh like the manager has to come and talk so i'm like okay no biggie so the day shift manager who gave who made me give back money in the past he comes over mind you my customer is an older man and he's like gaslighting or asking my customer all these questions like confusing the man and he goes oh sir so you want to pull out from my understanding another two thousand dollars my customer goes no i don't want to pull out another two thousand dollars manager literally cancel the transaction and runs off I'm frustrated and my customer was like, what's wrong? I'm like, he just canceled the $2,000 that you pulled out for me. He's like, oh yeah, no, I pulled that out for you. That's your money. Have that manager come back. I tell the girl who's handling, you know, in the back, I'm like, can you please call the, the manager over? You know, he wants to, to pull out. He wants to cash his cash advance. He was thinking that he, you guys were trying to see if he would pull out another two grand. That wasn't the case. He's like, oh, he's busy. Like he's, he's busy right now. He can't help you. Mind you. Before he canceled the cash advance, he told me to reach in my purse and pull out my $1,400 in chips. 
didn't question it because I didn't know at the time why he, you know, wanted me to take my chips or why, why he took my chips. But when he canceled that two grand cash advance, I'm like, okay, what about my chips? So anyway, the customer leaves. He's happy, you know. Um, he's he's also texting me how he he is sorry and you know you know come and meet him and you know he'll make sure I get the money. But of course I didn't. But anyway, so I go and talk to the manager and I'm like, okay, you. Of course I was upset. I'm like, that's thirty four hundred dollars. Thirty four hundred dollars that you basically just stole from me. You just stole thirty four hundred dollars. I did the work. I did the time, and you took my money. So. He's like, oh, we're going to hold your $1,400 in chips for 30 days, just in case the customer doesn't, you know, like he wants his money back. I'm like, what are you talking about? He wants his money back. This man left happy. Like, I'm so confused. So I had to wait three, four days until the manager who hires me comes back. Long story short, I get my money before 30 days. I don't go to work for two weeks because I'm like, you know what? My bills are paid. Um, I bought me a $2,000 teacup uh, poodle, AKC. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm chilling. Like, I'm going to go back to work when I feel like it. I'll go back to work today. It's Friday. I'll go back for the day shift. When I get there, that same manager is like, oh, Kimmy, when's the last time you were here? And I was like, oh, about two weeks ago. He was like, oh, because you're inactive. I'm like, I'm inactive for what? He was like, oh, because um, I spoke to John and I spoke to the owner and they told me to get you out of here because you tried to hustle that customer. I said, hustle that customer. That customer was giving me his money i didn't hustle anybody i don't have to hustle anybody that's actually an insult that you're even sitting up here telling me that i hustled a customer this man gave me his money because this man was attracted to me and so um he's like oh well you could come back and at nine o'clock you could talk to k cow i'm like who's k cow he's like well you've been here since 2018 you should know who k cow is you should know who the owner is and i was like well i do know who the owner is i actually have his business card and i'm gonna call him right now so i have to go back at nine o'clock to um, speak with the owner and John and this manager to figure out why do they feel the need to fire me. To me, it's a little bit of a, well actually a lot of bit of narcissism because this particular manager, he just keeps picking on me, making me get, taking my money, making me give money back. Like I'm a, t like I'm, I am self-employed. Why are you taking my money from me and giving it back to customers who are not even complaining? Like. And it's just not fair to me because I'm like, you know, he just seemed like he had it out for me. I don't even work day shift. I work nights. I don't have these issues. I don't have these problems. Like, and it just, in this economy, like you're going to fire me for nothing, for nothing. All because of what? And it's like, I have a son to take care of. And I told myself that if something happens at this club, like this is it. This is, this is the end of the road. I don't want to strip anymore. I'm not club hopping i'm not doing any of that so you know i have a son to take care of i just bought a, a puppy like i have a you know i have babies to take care of i have babies to take care of and he fires me for absolutely no reason now i have to figure out what i'm gonna do i have no idea what i'm gonna do you know i have a bad habit of going back to work when i've exhausted all my funds paid all my bills and so now i literally have no money <laughs> and i have babies to take care of and this man just picked on me and fired me for no reason